Okay, so we're just gonna make a video of this. What this is is a steam can. This is replacing a manhole gasket. So what we're gonna do is loosen these bolts. Usually you need a pipe, uh, spray it with penetrating oil because um, it's been there for years and so it gets cranked hot from the steam. Um, it's like a inch and a half socket. And um, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this cap off. We can loosen it, like loosen them both take this one off and what there's going to be there's going to be a handle in behind there and you tie the tie a rope onto the handle tie it down to the hand drill there and when you take this off uh, the rope holds it from dropping in because it's kind of mounted on the back side so uh, that's how we're going to do this I'll show you once we get this taken off okay, so you can see right here we got the one side off this is a ju just uh, uh, a, a capture plate so that's where we got the uh, why we got that in so what we're gonna have to do is uh, take this plate off we have it wrapped around the handrail gonna keep tension on it then we got to push this in and drop it and spin it out and we're gonna replace the gasket now one thing uh, we didn't mention is you have to have the steam locked out for this because uh, there's steam going in here so just when you take this off be mindful of that this isn't just locking the line shaft out it's locking the steam out bring bar to break these off because these are cranked on there good Do yourself a favor too i just put a couple marks here so you don't get these caps all mixed up because there's a certain way they have to go and you got to be careful so i just put a couple marks there before we take that off okay so here it's out so i kind of pushed it in there and then to pull it out so here we go so we'll take this back clean that up clean the back face up uh, and then we're gonna have to glue the gasket onto this because it's too hard to get it all aligned So we super glue it onto this and push it in and uh, pull it back in. Okay, so here we got it all cleaned off This is uh, what's called like a steel coil gasket. So essentially what it is is it's coil is a steel and in between there's uh, Graphite inside it. So it's a steam gasket. Now what we're gonna have to do um, You can see it's kind of rocking a bit after we got this cleaned up with a wire wheel. We're gonna have to zip cut a couple and then take a couple coils out of here you can see it's all spot welded inside there so you have to be careful that it doesn't all unspool on you then we got super glue here to glue it on once it's in place so we're gonna do that so you can see right here we went in about that far and it pretty much just all fell apart on us so that's why we taped it up and we got to be real careful how we're taking this off so right here we got it on we took i don't know probably three or four links out and it's sitting we're just making sure it's all sitting flat so when we super glue this down uh it's not going to go anywhere so we got this stuff and we're going to just super glue it in this is how much super glue we got on it we're going to drop it on there and line now it we're up. just uh, holding it there it, you got to be careful because if if it starts moving it will start uns unspooling so we're going to probably put a little bit more in there but it should be good so it's sealing up there. Uh, we just put a little bit more in the corner. So now remember, it's not the super glue that's sealing it. The super glue just holds the gasket on so we can put it in. Uh, so we just put, we just want to make sure we're not going to bump this gasket and it's going to go uh, get loose in there because we're not going to be able to put it in the backside. Okay, so you see, this is it. Actually, you can see on this can, uh, there it's all filled with water. So there's an issue with a condensate pump. So um, what we're going to do, just get a piece of emery just on the back side, make sure it's nice and smooth. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And then I just wanna make sure this is the, the top piece. Yeah, that's the piece we're supposed to use. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna push this in, I'm gonna pull it back. Nathan's gonna grab that one, put it on with a bolt, and we gotta be real careful not to bump this gasket. get that one halfway snug and then what we're gonna do
is we're gonna have to kind of probably tap it around to put the other cover in. And you got that halfway set? Yep. So now we can take the rope off. Now you wanna obviously make sure uh, everything's all smooth and good to go. Usually it's a couple smashes with a hammer. So when you mark this, you want to, you know, you want to make sure uh, you don't like this end six out farther than this end. So you can get them all confused. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get them snug. Probably I'll probably give it a couple shots with a hammer to make sure we seat everything up. Like that. And then we're going to hit it with the, the biggest bar we can. So incrementally, we'll just kind of snug this, snug this. Okay. And I said inch and a half socket. and smooth everything is nice and tight and do not drop that in there okay so here's the other one I want to show you something it's gonna be hard to see there's a gouge there so that might have to get filled with JB well what will happen is when that uh, when the siphon stops working or when they isolate the tank they fill with water but that one you can see the seam was bypassing for so long it actually gouged the back side of that tank so that's gonna have some issues with that. So it's gonna be too hard to show, but because uh, all the condensation there. So I'm gonna do is clean that out and then fill it with JB Weld, and then uh, it's gonna have to sit for a bit. I think your time six hours, but with all this heat, it might be quicker. And then um, what'll happen is someone else can put this cap on. But that's something to watch for if you have a gouge in the back. That's uh, the solution to that.